in the Bible. Nimrod was the name of a mighty hunter. And Nimrod is just that, a hunter of submarines, the most advanced and complex maritime aircraft in the world. Nimrod carries a formidable array of electronic equipment, for its task is to locate, and in war to destroy, hostile submarines in the depths of the sea. Russian submarines continually patrol, many of them very close to our own shores. Their activities are peaceful enough now, but in time of war, they would be a very real day style. The activities of these potentially hostile submarines are known and charted, so that should war ever break out, they can be tracked down and destroyed. Nimrod is continually rehearsing for this possibility, training men and perfecting equipment in constant daily contact with our potential enemies, both surface and submarine. Nimrod sorties are tasked from the HQ of 18 Group at Northwood, outside London, an important link in NATO's defence system. In the control room, RAF and Navy personnel work side by side on the map, show the positions of potentially hostile surface and submarine vessels, and of patrols originating from the two Nimrod bases, St Morgan in the south and Kinloss in the north. But submarine hunting is only one of Nimrod's tasks, and many sorties take in more peaceful operations. Because Nimrod is constantly patrolling the seas, it has been given an important role in fishery protection and supervision. Since the position of some 150 fishing vessels can be charted and photographed in a single flight, Nimrod tapestry sorties build up a picture of legal and illegal fishing, invaluable to the EEC. Oil and gas rigs and their pipeline systems also benefit from Nimrod surveillance. They too lie conveniently within the submarine patrol area and need to be under constant observation since they are vulnerable both to weather and to potential terrorist activity. Nimrod's other major responsibility is search and rescue. There is always a Nimrod on 24 hours standby for vessels in distress by engineering wing maintenance. An aircraft as complex as Nimrod, in which every electronic device must function perfectly, needs specialised and skilled servicing. And it needs a computer to analyse all the detailed individual tasks. And an engineering officer trained to understand the findings of the computer and to coordinate all the many skills and trades involved in carrying out the maintenance of the aircraft. It's a job which demands not only knowledge of engineering, but understanding of human beings as well.
Thank you.